Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we have with us the Audio-Technica M50X Bluetooth 2. This is the second generation of their wireless version of the M50X, one of their best selling headphones. But before I begin, a big thank you to Audio-Technica Singapore for sending these headphones out to me for this review. If you guys want to know more about these products, I'll leave the links in the description below. Alright, so let's talk about some of the key features of this product, beginning with the compatibility of these headphones with high quality audio codecs. Now, codecs are basically different types of audio compression that affects your listening experience. And for these headphones, the highest quality codec is the LDAC. Now, that being said, you will need a device such as an Android phone in order to be able to use the LDAC codec. And even then, your music files or your streaming services must come in a lossless format such as FLAC. If not, you won't be able to reach the full potential of that audio compression. Now, I know that all sounds really confusing and I myself took a really long time to understand this, but the gist of it is that these headphones are compatible with a certain codec that in turn allows you to receive high quality audio. But that being said, it takes a lot of different steps for you to get there, including the file type, your device, as well as a good transmission. Another improvement they've made from the previous version of these headphones is the app integration. Now inside the app, you're able to do a couple of things, including checking your battery percentage and changing through different codecs. You're also able to adjust the EQ settings or use the presets that are already available. There's also a low latency mode that's best for gaming or if you're using these headphones for live streaming to reduce any lag. You can also control the volume and adjust it in smaller increments as compared to controlling it via your phone volume controls. On a full charge, these headphones last for 50 hours which is really impressive but there are other headphones out there that have both an impressive 90 hours even but 50 hours is more than enough for you to use it through the week and only charge it when you need it. Charging is done via a USB-C cable which takes up to 3.5 hours for it to fully charge. In terms of the controls of these headphones, you'll find it on the left cup and these buttons are slightly confusing. First of all, they all double up with dual functions which means you kind of have to memorize it and it's not extremely intuitive. And second of all, these buttons don't feel very much different from each other. So I do get a bit lost when I try to figure out which button I'm actually pressing and most of the time I end up pressing the wrong button. So this is a very quick sound test of the microphone coming from the headphones. There is no physical boom arm that comes down from the headphones. Instead, the microphone is located on the ear cups. I think this sounds pretty decent, but it isn't exactly a really good microphone. It's enough to get you through calls and communications online. But apart from that, I don't think it's extremely good. Now, in terms of the appearance of these headphones, I do have to say that they are a very good looking pair of headphones, although they're not very flashy or not very stylish, but they do have a certain look to it. The nice silver trimmings uh, gives it a bit of class and the black leather keeps it very functional and very easy to maintain. I do have to say that there's a bit of crumpling on the top of the headband. I'm not sure why that is, maybe because it's real leather, but that's just something I felt could have been improved. Um, but that being said, it might be a material limitation. So apart from the appearance, one thing that you guys should know is that these headphones are not noise cancelling. And that's not exactly a problem because the audio that you're getting from it is really high quality and really great that you don't need noise cancelling. I don't know about you guys, but noise cancelling sometimes gives me a bit of a headache with that kind of pressure that's pushing into your ears. So I actually found that these headphones are a lot more comfortable to listen to for longer periods of time. And honestly, I'm getting really great audio from these headphones. It's difficult to explain it over the camera. I guess you have to go down to the store and try it for yourself. But in my experience, these are one of the best headphones that I've listened to. And the fact that they are wireless and Bluetooth makes it so convenient to use it in the office or even when I'm going out. And honestly, it's a great buy for the price. So I would recommend these headphones more for people who need to use it more indoors. I would say more for editors or people who want to appreciate great music. But at the same time, when I spoke about that whole codec situation, true and hardcore audiophiles might find that transmitting these codecs through Bluetooth might result in a loss in quality. Now, I'm not too nitpicky about that, so I don't think it's such a big deal. 
But the great news is that it does come with an included 3.5mm audio jack cable so you are still able to plug it directly into your desktop amp to get the full and highest quality audio you can get. If you guys want to know more about this product, like I said, I'll leave all the links in the description below. So do check that out for yourself. If you guys have any questions, do leave in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. But if not, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.